Hello everyone, how you doing? Uh, my name is Diane and this is Madame Butterfly Tarot. And this is just going to be a little quick pick a card reading for Tuesday the 6th of September, but it is a timeless reading. So, you know, whenever you find this is when, you know, the messages will still be relevant for you. Uh, so this is pile number one with the red jasper. This is pile number two with the really cool... Um, Fossil. How cool is that? I love these little guys. So that's pile number two. And um, pile number three is the black tourmaline, which is really good for uh, protection and cleansing negative energy, if that's of any interest to you. So I'll just give you a second to choose your piles and obviously you can pause it if you want longer. Okay. I'll just move these guys out of the way. So pile number one, the red jasper. You guys got a ton of cards. <laughs> like you got so many tarot cards. Um, I don't know why you got so many. Like you got a big stack of them. So you have, that's so, so funny. I think this card was in exactly the same place yesterday when I did this reading. So you have the butterfly, big changes are happening. That's I'm, That was in exactly the same place yesterday. That's funny. Um, you have, you got a lot of cards, pile number one. You have emotional. You have journey. You have wealthy man and you have main male. And you got, oh my god, you got so many. You have the Emperor. If I can get him to focus. Sorry, pile number one, let me just, there we go. So you have the Emperor. You have the Knight of Cups. This is looking like a love reading for a lot of you. You have the Eight of Wands. I told you, you got so many cards. <laughs> um, you have the Hermit. You have the Knight of Swords. And you have the King of Cups. So I gotta tell you, for a lot of you, this is looking like a love thing coming in here. Okay, you have some you have some kind of big change is coming in for you. It's with the Eight of Wands and the Knight of Swords, it's some kind of communication coming in. It's gonna come in pretty fast, alright? And it's gonna lead to a lot of changes, like big changes. It might actually make you quite emotional. It's gonna be good though. You know, it's the butterfly is like good changes, okay? It's like coming out of the chrysalis. So maybe you've been in a waiting period and it's like things are about to start happening. Um you could be waiting for it. This could be an Aries, it could be a Libra, it could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or a Virgo, or some, you know, mixture thereof, or none at all. Um, but it looks like you've kind of been in hermit mode for a while. You've been waiting for this person to come in. You're about to go on a journey. You know, either literally or like metaphorically, you're about to go on a journey with this person. See, with the Emperor and the King of Cups, this is someone like solid. You know, this is someone um, very, like, grown up, very stable, very reliable, loyal, faithful, organized. And with the King of Cups, it's someone who's, like, in control of their emotions. Someone, you know, they're, they're self-mastery, okay, but still in touch with their emotions, very loving. And obviously, if you're dealing with a female, you can, you know, these are male characters, but, you you know, they don't represent any gender, um, but with the Knight of Cups, it looks like someone's coming in to make you a love offer. And you have wealthy man and main male here. <coughs> Excuse me. So you could be dealing with someone. For a lot of you, it looks like the person that you've been waiting for, like your main male or your main female. <coughs> Excuse me. And it looks like um, they might have quite a bit of money as well with wealthy man. For those of you who are looking for information about money, 
you you it looks like you're about to come into some money here it could be doing something creative it could be like traveling or writing and um, more you know like working for a charity something creative something in the healthcare uh sort of sphere um you might have to move to do this job but it, whatever this is it's going to come in quickly okay like there's going to be a lot of emotional changes coming up for you pile number 1 so get ready. <laughs> um, I hope that was, <coughs> I don't know why I'm losing my voice. I hope that was useful reading pile number one. Thank you so much for watching as always. Um, and as always, many blessings to you, love and light. Okay, let's move that. Okay, pile number two, uh, the cool fossil thing. Okay, you guys have, well, you got two of these. You have the raccoon and the unicorn. You have everything you need. Use your imagination. You have discover. You have community. You have child, which in this uh, deck represents a new beginning, some kind of new beginning coming in. You have the page of cups. And you have the four of pentacles. If I can get it to focus. There we go. So there's something here, um, they're saying like you've already got everything that you need. You're about to discover something. With the Page of Cups, there's maybe something like kind of creative that you've been doing. See with the Four of Pentacles, it's like there's been, you, you've been almost like repressing something that you already have. Because you're maybe looking for, I don't know, um... You're looking for resources out with yourself or re resources out with what you already have. But they're saying you already have whatever you need to do this. But it's just with the four of pentacles here, you might be kind of sitting a little on your creativity. You might want to work on your uh, sacral chakra or your throat chakra because they really help with creativity. Because there's something that kind of wants to come out. Um, you're about to discover something it could be some, for some of you, it may be like you're about to start working with the community or you're about to build a community like a YouTube channel or a website. Um, it's whatever, because I feel like maybe you're feeling a bit stuck in some kind of creative endeavor. You're definitely on the right path with the Page of Cups and there's definitely a new beginning coming in here, possibly in something to do with like a community which could be a local community or it could be like online. Um, but they're saying like, yeah, like use your imagination. I would work on your sacral chakra and throat chakra and maybe listen to like some subliminals or something to help with creativity or frequencies or something like that. Um, for some of you as well with discover, you might be like about to get discovered in some way. Okay. So I hope that was helpful, pal number two. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And as always, uh, many blessings to you, pile number two. Love and light. And pile number three, the black tourmaline. You guys didn't get many cards at all. It's a very like, I guess it's not a very, I guess it's like a short and sweet reading. That's what I'm trying to say. You have the bear, stand up for yourself. Okay, you have beginning. So you obviously have some kind of new beginning coming in, pile number three. Yeah, you have the world card. So there's some kind of ending and some kind of beginning. You have the six of swords. You're moving on from something. Because the Six of Swords indicates that you have previously been in the Five of Swords, right? So you may have been dealing with a person or many persons 
who were kind of manipulative or like a little narcissistic and kind of played mind games with you, um, you know, gaslighted you, controlled you, all this kind of stuff, and you're about to start standing up for yourself and it's leading to a whole new beginning. Um, you also have the judgment card here, which is again, a whole new beginning, like something new starting. Oh my God, you have pathway. So you're going, you're about to go down a new pathway and that is the number eight, which is all about self mastery. And this pathway is nice and bright and you see how it has the butterflies as well. Butterflies always indicate like good change coming in. Like you may be coming out of the chrysalis and kind of emerging as the butterfly. And you also have despair. So this is a number five. So I feel like maybe you have been in a period of despair, right? Which you're about to come out of. There's change happening. It's either because you got yourself into a bad mindset where you kind of weren't standing up for yourself or you've been surrounded by people that have kind of put you down or used you or abused you in some way. You're going to be leaving this behind, okay? And in doing that, it leads to some kind of new beginning. Like... With the world card, you've closed down some kind of massive cycle. You've had some kind of realization about something. You're about to step into like a whole new pathway. Because often, this is the thing with a spiritual awakening, you can, it often makes you realize that you've surrounded yourself with toxic people. <laughs> um, and then it's kind of necessary for you to move away from them. And then you can kind of actually start being yourself. And that's when the magic happens. I feel like that's what's happening for you. So that could be one person. It could be multiple people. Or it could be like you just got yourself into this bad mindset where you weren't standing up for yourself. Um, you know, and you were feeling like despair, like there's no way out of this. But there is a way out. You're about to leave. So I hope that was helpful pile number three. Uh, many thanks for watching and as always many blessings, love and light.